Alyssa here. I am back. This week's video is all about your wardrobe essentials and what I believe are the pieces that literally no woman should live without. After years of going through people's closet and working on fashion sets as a wardrobe stylist, these are the foundation items that I have found to be the basis of every gorgeous wardrobe. So here they are. So starting with tops, my first items are a black and a cream or white camisole. So I have these in both a dark and a light color. They're both silk. The reason why I think you should have one light and one dark is to kind of help you work through all of the seasons. But what I love about these is that the camisole can be layered. It is such a great layering piece. So the other reason why I love these camisoles is that, especially if you get it in a fabric that is a little bit more luxurious, like a silk, uh, then you'll be able to wear this to work underneath a cardigan or a blazer, which makes it extra versatile. This could be just my personal preference, but I tend to always reach for a really good button-down shirt. I've chosen this chambray one here because chambray is a little bit loose, it gives you a nice sense of ease and feeling, but it is not tight and restrictive. I love that it can be styled so many different ways. Tuck it in, leave it untucked, do the quasi-tuck, throw it under a sweater for a preppy look, or like I said, wear it with a cool trouser or pant, unbuttoned with a great necklace or earrings for date night and a good heel. There are so, so many ways for you to wear a good button-down shirt. I would recommend having a dark and a light t-shirt. I prefer v-necks, but that's just my preference. Uh, if you prefer a crew or something that is a little bit le uh, like a tighter fit, I like it when things fit a little bit loose, but those are just my personal preference. What's important is that you have a black tee and a white tee that you're comfortable in and that you feel great in. A black tee and a white tee are just so, so good for layering. Don't be afraid to wear them dressed up. These look awesome under a blazer if you need to wear them to the office. A simple white tee can look really smart with uh, just a simple trouser or a pencil skirt. Uh, and same thing with the black tee. Because it's black and a little bit more rich looking, you can pair that with a pair of jeans, a stellar pump, maybe a cool piece of jewelry, and be on your way for date night. The lightweight knit sweater. This great guy is nice. See how lightweight it is? It's from Club Monaco. Again, I chose a v-neck because that's the neckline that I prefer in this kind of sweater. Depending on the type of neck you have, how busty you are, you're gonna wanna choose a ne neckline that just suits you. This is really more about just looking for a simple classic sweater that's long enough, that has really nice clean lines, no voluminous sleeves or embellishments or anything like that, just a nice simple sweater. I love this because, again, if you get it in a nice neutral color, that you can pair it with a lot of different things. But similar to our black tee, this simple sweater can really dress up a look, whether it's a denim or paired with a trouser. I also like it because it's lightweight enough for you to throw underneath a blazer or a denim jacket. A medium weight knit is also on my list. This is a shirt, or sweater, sorry, just like the one I'm wearing. See, it's like a little bit thicker than the one I just held up, but it's not a big heavy gauge knit. A black, a navy, maybe you could go camel if you already have a black lightweight sweater. Make sure that it's thin enough to be layered underneath items, like a denim jacket, but it's also thick enough to kind of stand on its own. Denim jacket. If you don't have a denim jacket in your closet, I would highly recommend you get one. This is a Levi's, really simple. You can find these really easily at uh, consignment stores or even thrift shops. Um, a denim jacket is so essential. And what's great about these denim jackets is that now they come in so many different styles. So pick one that's right for you. But my recommendation is to just start off with a nice classic style, one that's not too boxy, but not too fitted. So this is your typical classic 
denim jacket. And on the back, I wanna show you, it does have some nice seams that allows it to be a little bit tapered, so it's not too boxy. This thing will never get old. Denim is a great staple piece. You can throw it on in the fall as your jacket, but then when winter comes, you can wear it as another layer, like I showed in that other video, between your outerwear and your sweater. Um, so don't underestimate the power of your jean, jean jacket. Don't, don't hide it away after fall. Keep it in there for winter, because it can be really useful. A leather or, totally up to you, faux leather is great too, uh, moto jacket. I would recommend a little motorcycle jacket because this is kind of a vintage classic look. The faux leather does a lot, or leather, um, can add a lot of edge to your look or a little bit of personality. I like that it's a little bit short because then I can play with proportions. I'll throw something long underneath. That way it just adds a little bit more interest to an outfit when you get to play with short over long. If you watched my winter wardrobe essential video, then you'll know that I also like to layer this underneath my winter coat for an added layer of warmth. Next is denim. I'm a big fan of denim. Depending on your lifestyle, you might have more or less. I always make sure though, no matter what it is you do, to have one pair of black and one pair of blue denim. Look for denim that is not embellished, not too trendy. I always would recommend getting it in a darker or medium wash because it's a lot more flattering. These are a skinny pair here, but if you're not super into the skinny, then grab yourself a straight leg. Black denim, I wanted to show you the ones that I'm wearing. These are a mother denim, and in most of my denim, I look for a higher waist. I also look for that kind of skinny or straight ankle. These are what I prefer to flatter my body, but what's important is that you find a black and a blue denim that fits you and suits your body. Make sure that when you're starting out, when you're building your basics, neither of your denim have rips or holes. The reason why is that these black denim and even your blue denim can also work for the office if need be. If you have a dress down Friday, throw them on with a turtleneck and a blazer and they're instantly dressed up. A pair of well-fitting trousers. I should just say everything in here should fit you well. That's just a given. If you didn't watch my last video about how to have a closet full of things you'll love, then watch it and then, then come back and watch this one. Um, but a pair of trousers, and I don't mean denim or khakis, I mean like a really nice blended wool trouser. I have these also from Club Monaco. I swear I do shop elsewhere, um, but their pieces are just so classic. These I bought, I remember, in my first or second year of banking. Um, so it's been about oh, 10, 12 years. These trousers are just beautifully tailored. They're very simple. See, there's almost no detail on there, but they fit really, really well. This kind of pant is just super essential for times when you want to look polished and professional, or even if you want to wear them like on date night with a great heel and a cute little blouse. Uh, maybe it's buttoned a little bit low and you're showing off a little bit of your bralette underneath or something like that. A trouser can still be really sexy. Find it first in a neutral color like black, navy, uh, camel would also be a good option if you're tired of seeing dark colors in your wardrobe. But definitely make sure you've got a pair of trousers. They will take you from work to weekend to, you know, when you're 10 years older than when you first bought them. I would definitely recommend every woman have a high-waisted pencil skirt. I know, I hear a lot of ladies are like, no, pencil skirts don't look good on me. But once they put it on, it looks amazing. The hemline is really what's gonna make or break whether you like a pencil skirt on you or not. Find out what hem length works for you. For the most part, the right hem length on anyone is where your leg is getting smaller. For most of us, it's just above the knee. For others, it's right where the calf starts to get thinner just around the ankle. For the same reason I love that black trouser. A good pencil skirt can work just as well at the office as it can on the weekend or date night. So maybe you wear this pencil skirt with your nice button down or with a camisole and a blazer over top to the office and then on the weekend you could throw this on with a cute little sweater and a great pump or a little flat for brunch with the girls and off you go. 
love, love, love your pencil skirt. Love. Finally, every now and then we get dressed up and I think it is so important to have a really good dress in your wardrobe. Here comes the sheath dress. You've heard me talk about this before. This little guy uh, I have had for, I would say, seven years. I bought it in Sicily at a designer outlet. It's Dolce & Gabbana, so of course I'm never going to let it go. Much like the pencil skirt, this is a silhouette that suits pretty much every body type. What's important to make it your own and make sure that it's very flattering on you is choosing a neckline that suits your body type, deciding whether or not you want to show your arms, and again, finding the hem length that is right for you. So that is it. These are the pieces that are the foundation of your closet. So once you've got these, you can start playing around with adding textures and colors. Thank you so much for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up and a like. If you liked this video, please leave your comments below. I love to hear from you and see you next week.